Hi, I'm Ryan Wisner. We're here at the ARA show in Orlando. I'm uh, here with Jay Thaker from Toro, and we're going to talk a little bit about the eDingo. So, could you tell me about uh, how this fits into the rental market? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So, when um, we started developing the eDingo, our, our, our focus was on three, three key things. The first thing was that we wanted to give customers the same user experience that they used to for all of our dingoes. Okay. Second thing was that we wanted to make sure that it was robust, tough, just as reliable as our other dingoes and our other products that that, sure. that require that that minimum level of robustness right. in the in that market space. Okay. The third thing is that whilst being electric, we didn't want to compromise on that power. And that's what you okay. get. You have a rated operating capacity of 515 pounds. It allows you to okay. lift more, to haul more. Sure. Uh, it has. Um, an uh, 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 electric power motor that's comparable to, to, to certain uh, combustion engines um, and has a number of uh, energy saving modes, so eco mode and auto, uh, auto idle mode. Sure. Helps maximize that runtime uh, but that's not great. compromise on the power. Right. Um, okay. I also want to talk through the performance. So, lithium ion battery technology doesn't require, uh, doesn't require any maintenance. Uh, requires no um, no requires no water to top it up, um, so it's maintenance free. Um, the second thing is that uh, it um, uh, the, the, the machine itself has a four port independent four wheel uh, steering, uh, so uh, sorry drive system, uh, which gives you true spin turns. What that means is that in any kind of like tight space, particularly in the kind of the indoor construction Renault demo spaces, okay. um, you get that tight maneuverability. Um, so again, when you, if you're hauling things, if you're, if you're if you're, um, if you're trying to get that job done fast, sure. the, the machine doesn't slow you down. Okay. The last thing is that it's proven. We built the machine on a 323 frame, which is field proven for over 20 years. Sure. So you have a, a machine okay. that people are familiar with, folks that have been in the industry for such a long time, um, have, have grown up on a 323 frame. So it's familiar to them. You have that robustness. And again, you have that power to get the job done fast. So in the rental space, as, a, as an end user, the product's intuitive. The controls are intuitive. They're able to get that job done faster. And for the for the rental store owners themselves, they're able to um, to minimize that maintenance because they're not having to worry about the battery. Um, and you get just a, a complete machine. In terms of the spaces you can use it, again, built for built for indoors with the zero exhaust emissions, uh, a quiet operation. Uh, but whilst it's built for indoors and, uh, and kind of indoor construction, demo, reno, sure. uh, it's still strong enough for outdoors. Things like deck work, yeah. um, uh, 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 for, for, for outdoor type of, uh, of applications, still okay. perfectly suited. So it, so it would fit into, like you said, the outdoor stuff and, and like a landscaper, it, being with a familiar frame, like you said, it's something they're going to be used to potentially that they've already used before. But this one's the the electric the, version, the electric yeah, version yeah. of that. And, and again, like you know, you're, you're, you're still getting power, um, so within the quite quieter operation. Sure. And then uh, and then zero exhaust emissions. Okay. And does it? What about attachment-wise? Then does that does it have the same sort of attachments that the the other dingoes? That's a great great question, Ryan. Um, so so the great Another fantastic thing about the, the Dingo is that if you're familiar with Dingoes and you have Dingoes in the lineup, um, it uses most of the standard uh, Dingo attachments. So, uh, so it comes with most of the standard Dingo attachments. So you don't have to spend additional thousands of dollars on specific attachments for this unit. Okay. We're also coming out with some other attachments that are going to be useful. So, okay. so the grapple bucket that we're, 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 we'll be releasing and four, four in one bucket that okay. uh, we'll be releasing too. Again, Dingo attachments that are, that are uh, comfortable on the e-Dingo as well as all, all of our other dingoes. Okay. And being being electric and the lithium uh, lithium batteries, how much of a charge does that hold? I mean, what what kind of operation time is a user looking at? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question because it really does depend. It's kind of like an iPhone. You know, yeah. an iPhone can last you like 12 hours, 15 hours. But right. what you're kind of doing with your YouTube and the several apps running in the background. Um, we've designed it so it gives you the, the power that you need. Has a bunch of energy saving uh, okay. uh, features. Even the, the, the battery management system looks to kind of maximize that runtime. So okay. difficult question to answer. Sure. Uh, depends on exactly what you need to do. The power is there, so it allows you to break harder. It allows you to auger up to 12 inches. Okay. Um, so so you and haul up to 515 pounds. So sure. Again, not an easy question to answer. It's yeah. 
laptop yeah. or anybody to answer. Uh, but again, like the power's there for you to be Because you're, you're not necessarily going to be on the machine for like six hours straight, obviously. So, um, I mean, it's if, not... If you are, you're a stronger person than I am. Yeah, absolutely. Right. It's, not, yeah. it's not easy to do that. Um, right. So, yeah, so you'd be kind of hopping off. You've got other things going on. Right. Especially in a couple... Like, and and with it being electric, I mean, not that you don't turn off a, a gas one too, but electric, you're hopping off, it's it's off, and you're, you're not using up the energy then at that point. Yeah, so. so that's another great feature about this product is that uh, when you turn it on, it's ready to go. Uh, if you've got to hop off to do something else, and the engine still, or the power still running, yeah. um, it's automatically after five seconds switches on auto idle. So it's already okay. starting to conserve energy. Sure. You want to go again, just double tap on the lever and you're good to go. In okay. 30 seconds, so if you've been off the machine for 30 seconds, it goes on standby. So you won't even okay. just completely switches, uh, sorry, not completely, but just goes on standby. Yeah. Mode. yeah. Um, double tap again and you're good to go. So it has okay. a number of features that helps you maximize that. Range. Sure, absolutely. Okay. And so you mentioned, you did mention uh, some uh, new attachments that you're going to uh, be releasing. Uh, what are some of the other things you ha here have have here at the ARA show this year? Yeah, so we're super excited. We're going to give you a sneak peek at our new sw swivel mud buggy, which is right over here. So, um, uh, so still in development. We're not taking orders for it now, so it's not launched. Uh, but okay. we wanted to give everybody a, an opportunity to have a look at it. Sure. A 480 degree swivel of the of the uh, of the. Um, of, of the of the bucket itself one right. of the cool things about this machine is that uh, the operator control, controls the oper operator co controls allow you to to swivel and dump at the same time so again you're maximizing that uh, get so you beg upon getting that job done faster whilst on the job site sure uh, so the swivel uh, so the, the tub itself you'll notice is a different color sure we haven't just changed the cover color whilst it's a, a really strong and reliable tub and, and a robust tub we made a strong tub even better. Okay. So we increased the, the thickness of the, of the poly tub that makes okay. it even more reliable. Sure. There's some of the key things that we've started developing um, as part of the swivel swivel. So we're super excited about this. That's really great. smooth operation too. Sure. So again, you still keep that confidence when you're using this. You, it's an afterthought. You don't think about uh, having to figure out the machine whilst you're doing the job. Right. The focus is doing that job. So similar similar to the Dingo, then it's I mean the the controls are pretty intuitive. I mean, Absolutely. so it, so yep. it fits well again into that rental area where it's yeah yeah. So the the the, the, uh, the operator controls are intuitive. Again, just like the Indigo, uh, we've built it on a familiar, uh, field proven, customer trusted frame. So this is based okay. on our mud buggy frame. So people are familiar with the product, okay. familiar with the controls, and the controls are designed to be robust to take right. a, to take a beating somewhat. Um, sure. And, um, but then again, um, close enough and, 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 and uh, arranged in such a way that you're not having to move your hands and do a lot of dynamics um, just to, to finish the job. Sure. So here we are now over at the TRX Trencher here at the Toro booth. So Jay, why don't you tell me about this one? Yeah, absolutely. So, so I want to start with a thank you. Thank you so much for awarding this, the Editor's Choice Award. The Tren IntelliTrench technology allows you to press the controls and then allow it to trench. Um, uh, it's as simple as that. You pull the lever and you go. There's no feathering, there's no killing of the okay. machine. Sure. So when you're trenching and defending, and I just found out that just earlier today that the soil in Missouri is a lot tougher than the soil <laughs> in, in Georgia. So and sure. it takes that, makes that, sense. That, that folks that use this machine, especially, especially in, the, in the rental market, have sure. to kind of figure out. Um, yeah. And as a result, you can kind of like stall or kill the engine. Uh, with the IntelliTrench technology, you just pull back and go. So there's no feathering, no killing of the engine. Because it's taking care of it itself. It does it all for you. Yeah. So you just, okay. as, and again, like a great solution for end users and perfect for uh, for for, uh, for rental stores because they're able to give a give a product that uh, that they know customers are going to prefer to rent. Sure, sure. That's not all. The smooth boom operation uh, again gives you that confidence. No jittering. There's no stuttering of the boom. Um, so again, you're fully, fully confident about the use of this product. Right. And the last thing which is really cool uh, about both of these products, specifically for our, for our rental customers, is that it's over a hundred less parts. Okay. So hundred, hundred less downtime opportunities, a sure. hundred less things to have to worry about. Yeah. So again, like it just reduces the burden on the owner and improves that experience. Uh, for, for that end user, sure. So again, like, 
Once again, thank you so much. I think I, I think you guys recognize that when you go to see the award. Absolutely. We're very proud of it. Um, and, and, and we're seeing such happy faces uh, by, from our rental customers as well as the end users. So to wrap things up here uh, today, uh, I appreciate you taking me around the booth and showing me some new things. Um, so where else, uh, what, what's the future for Toro uh, in the rental market and in general? Yeah, I, I think Toro built a great momentum in the rental market. We see a broad portfolio. Um, and uh, along with products like the eDingo, we're looking to expand. So I think the sky's the limit. Um, you know, we've got great products and we're looking at finding other solutions that meet those. So yeah, we're just exciting at, at it's continuing great. to build up. Sure. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Jay. I appreciate you. Thank you so you. much, Ryan. You bet. Thanks a lot.